All right, so I'm out here in the workshop, and uh, it's cold, but I like to work out here even if it's cold. And what I want to show you today is a thing called a match plate pattern. That's this right here. Now that's for a bracket um, that I'm making for the CNC machine, and the reason this it's called a match plate is that there's a, a part on the other side that matches that's going to be part of this part um, and I'll show a picture of it when it's all done and it'll make a lot more sense All right, so here's a mold with the uh, match plate pattern inside, and I am going to um, wrap it and remove it. I think I'll flip it over and take off the drag first. Came out pretty clean. Perfect. Very nice. Got a little bit of damage here to clean up. That should work out just fine. So far, so good. This was the last one I poured, so it's got a little more heat. Probably than the other one. I guess we'll see. 
That looks successful. Let's see what we got in the other one. Looks good too. Very nice. We poured that one an hour ago. Still a lot of steam coming off of it. Alignment seems pretty good between the two halves. A little bit of flash there to file off. A bit of shrinkage right there. It's no problem. I put covers on the muller to keep the moisture in and the cats out. And uh, here's a shot from a different day of casting, still using the simple furnace. There we have the triangle brackets and some uh, parts for the roller slides on the y-axis. Those are the, the pulley supports for the operator end and there's roller slides on the, the x-axis before we had the, the gantry complete. There we've got the gantry mostly complete with the uh, z-axis roller slides and there we've got everything pretty much together except for the cables and chains and notice there the two pulleys uh, on the threaded rod sticking up. It was that the tension bracket for that that we were doing earlier and there's the completed framework on legs in the basement. There I'm tapping threads in the tension bracket and there it is installed. It's giving support to the top end of that threaded rod to help uh, hold the tension of those chains and cables and one on the other side. And there's what we have so far. I have the, uh, the gantry off, or I should say the, the x-axis roller slide right now uh, because I'm uh, doing the screw drive the lead screw for the z-axis I have that out in my workshop right now thanks for watching stay tuned